Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aziza. I'm reading today for the sign of Gemini for the month of April and we are about to the end of the month at this time. For love and relationship. Dear Gemini, you are trying to be strong right now. I see the strength in you. You are trying and trying and trying very harder. You feel that you want to push your partner away at this time because you feel like you know, that he can be sneaky at this time. Um, maybe dishonesty. Um, it looked to me like you know, that he or she is not doing anything against you at all. The sneaky part about it here that uh, your partner is keeping things to him or herself. They don't want to dwell on things. Um, there is shyness, uh, embarrassment about someone who is related. Someone has been in their life before in the past. Um, he or she walked away from uh, an affair or it could be a relationship. A relationship with someone before your partner come back to you. They change their direction. It says here this person changed your his or her direction. The eight of cups to me here, when I see it in a reading, someone who walked away completely 100% and they will never go back. That's what does it mean. So it feels to me that they had um, kind of like short relationship. It could be a few months last year and uh, they wanted the best for you and him or her to be like you know, together. So it sounds to be here that your partner feel that you're still holding on things from the past like you know, that you are not forgetting, like you know, your heart is filled with uh, maybe weakness, desire, uh, um, bad news, things that he or she did in the past and you are not forgetting, like, you know, it's like you say something then you back off. You don't want, like, you know, to make hell out of it or uh, too much big deal or drama. So you are just making sure to tell your partner that you are still um, alone. It's kind of like you feel his or her friends or people are against you and you feel he or she, your partner, is against you but your partner is trying like not really very much very hard like you know, to prove to you that they want you um, so you feel like you know, that it's like a gang against you like you know, they want to be destroying your relationship with your partner that's how you feel so you are trying to heal from the past. Trying to heal from the past because it sounds like you know, your partner here had somebody that somebody still pushing it, which is a third party, still pushing it for him or her to be in contact with them or to be with them. So you are kind of like, why this happened to me? Why things like you know, doesn't really move fast or smooth? in my life you know I'm not trying to hurt anyone I did not hurt you you are telling your partner I wasn't trying to hurt I did not hurt you with your third party when you were with someone before I never come between you two I never chase after you I never did anything as soon as you come back to me and I took you back everybody is against me which is you feel like you no know, let's say you have a husband who separated from you and there is another woman in the picture and that woman won't let go and you feel like you know, his friends are 
siding with her, trying to be coming to your husband to deliver messages because the third party she won't let go. So you feel like you really some kind of like emotions right now say, I never come after you and your girlfriend. How come she is coming after me? It doesn't make sense. So you are becoming like you know that, okay, let me forgive, let me let go. What's draining you here is your worry. Your worry that your partner is not really being honest with you right now and maybe your partner is really um, trying to see this other person or making you like, you know, or talk to this person and say like, you know, later maybe there is something like, you know, I will do. But your partner is terrified right now that you are going to let go because it sounds here that your partner is holding on you very strong. They don't want to leave you. They don't want to let you go. They are not really holding on the other person in any which way, but they want you to vent everything out without like, you know, uh, let it go, forgive. You need like, you know, to forgive your enemies right now. You need to stop like, you know, on any kind of jealousy also that will stop draining your energy. Because it doesn't sound to be that you are really extremely jealous. Actually, the third party is really very jealous. You are kind of like having a little jealousy here. You need to let it go. It sounds here that your partner is worried and afraid that they're going to lose you completely 100%. They don't want to lose you at all. And they are like, you know, okay, I don't know what to do because the other person is not my fault if they are chasing after me or doing this stuff. I did not really do anything. Obviously, when it says I don't, I, I didn't do anything, you believe like, oh, really? Well, all of this mess I'm in right now is because you did something in the past. But your partner, what, it, what they are saying at this time that I'm not doing anything now. It's true. They are not doing anything now. So your partner become like you no know, really wary about your situation and you are like why you don't do something? Why you don't cut your loose ends? Why you don't really back off that woman or man, the third party? Why you don't really just do something about it? Say, I moved on and I don't want to talk to them at all. So you are saying like you no, know, oh we're gonna sit here like you no know, and really like you know, keep this person coming? What should we do? You have to put a line between you and your friend. Some of the your friends, like, you know, they want you to come and join them in partying, maybe drinking, like you used to do, uh, your partner did. Um, what I meant, like, you know, that some of the friends of your partner want them, like, you know, want your partner to come and drink and party like it was last year. And you're like, okay, so they are checking on him on your partner, on him or her, to see if they are doing good, how they are doing, and are they happy or not. It's like you feel everybody are waiting for you and your partner to fight or argue and split. And they say, no, we have a good intention. We didn't mean it this way, but it is this way. So your partner here seems to be that, you know, he or she are undecided back and forth, feel that you are the one who's not going to be able to commit because you keep saying, you did, you did, you did, you did, you did. You put your emotions there in your relationship. You mean very well for your partner. He or she are worried right now only that you are not going to continue. But are they doing anything about it? No. They are not doing anything about it. The only thing they are doing, that they treat you very nice, very beautiful, very loving. It's so beautiful. And you like it. You enjoy it. But the only thing here, you feel like you know, there is something missing. You want something to happen. Like you, know, you want a stop or an end for this situation, but you are not really being able to put your finger on it.
So your partner is sitting there and say, another separation? Are we going to divorce? Are we going to be... Re you are not really that mad or angry. Maybe a, maybe a week ago or something, something happened here, made you like you know, angry and upset for a couple of days, then you pulled yourself or pick up yourself up again. And you are saying like, no, you know what? I'm not going to really talk much about this. Leave it alone. You become lucky, dear Gemini, like no matter what the situation is because you are aware of all of these sadness and unhappiness that has been caused from a third party is not going to get anywhere so you decided suddenly to throw all of this behind your back and be happy whether you continue with your partner or not because this is something for you you are doing yes I see like you know, the third party is really really very sneaky at this time like you know, trying to push you and your partner away from each other so you can be really separating and she or he can get really a chance. It sounds to be that you are succeeding at this, at this time, dear Gemini. You are succeeding with your wishes and plans and everything. You have faith and you have been praying a lot. Some of you have been praying a lot. And it says here that you have the upper hand with your partner at this time because he or she came back to you to the relationship and they settled down because this person really truly love you. This is what the third party doesn't understand. The third party think that you did maybe spells, you, may, you did magic to bring like New York partner to you. Actually, in the matter of fact, the third party does not understand one thing. It's love. Because the third party tried really very much to be with your partner and to establish a committed relationship with him or her. It did not work or happen because his heart or her heart, which is your partner, does not belong to that third party. There is a, a true love, genuine love for you, dear Gemini. That's why they came back to you in the first place. So the third party keep being angry. And most of all who keeps being angry is you, dear Gemini. Because you try harder with your relationship. And every time you feel like you know, that you are on the peaceful side, the other person comes around, snoop around, being smart with you and trying really to, to get your partner away from you. And you are like, now what? You can say, I'm going to call the cops. I'm going to do something really like no, not nice. Then you leave it alone and let it go. You want this person to leave you alone. That's it. Because plans are not really going the way you want to, dear Gemini. And you feel like you know, that no matter what you do, nothing is working for you. It says here you are confused. Everything is working for you for your own benefit. You get the relationship with your partner and this is what's happening. So start like you know, to have faith. The only thing I'm getting here that you need to avoid jealousy. Let me see about the third party here. Are they going ever to walk away? They are free right now, but they are kind of like you know, on and off. The on and off here, like you know, that they are almost there, like you know, to be freeing yourself from all of that. So it doesn't seem to be that it's really like you no know, done yet, because this is what's going to happen here. That this person is going to be moving on with a little work on yourself, like you no know, try to ignore things, and I know it's really out of hand. I see a lot of drain of energy here. It seems to be that this person, the third party, drain you. What I'm looking at here that, you know, something happened. Something happened recently. It could be a few days ago, a week ago. I'm not really sure. 
because it tells me here about five days ago. Five days ago, you were minding your own business, doing something, and by coincidence, it seems to be the third party was really around. It could be shopping center, it could be like you no know, really grocery store, and you and your partner were you and your partner like a husband. You know, this is you were kind of like you know standing there, and the third party saw you both and start to blah 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 talking like you not know, to get your partner attention but your partner did not look at that person because they kept really around the counter turning their back in a way that they don't want to look at that person so the third party get humiliated but you didn't like it as I'm standing I'm a wife or a husband that could be goes like you know either way standing next to my partner which is my husband or my wife and the third party is trying to get my partner attention there is no respect of anything if you are doing this in front of me what do you do behind my back? it's going to be over at the end that's where is it going to be going and all of this like you no know, really mess start really coming to you in the past and you feel like you know that I was minding my own business, my partner left me, I said okay, you know, let it go. Um they end up with with that third party, okay, let them go. You didn't chase after them or anything, but you kept being harassed from the third party and they tell you one time. We are laughing at you, we saw you on camera or something like you know, that, you are crying. And you are in your mind right now. Who's crying now? Because he did not try to get your partner and force him to come back to you. He or she came back to you out of love and left the third party and the third party right now angry or upset. I see so much anger directed here and they are the third party is really being smart with you right now. Let me see here what's going to happen. Is your partner cheating on you with this person or someone else or not? Or trying to be really delivering messages or talk to them or deal with them or they are willing to go away or not? We'll see about that. your partner it's over with the third party they blocked this person this is the seven of wands they blocked this person the third party they don't want him it's over they change their direction that's the eight of cups again they don't want him they're, they're, they had a connection there but they become really cold to that person, to the third party. And they are really being careful right now that the third party does not destroy their relationship. And this is the six of wands again. They are like, no, god damn it, I'm best. They are trying harder. Your partner is trying harder with their marriage or their current relationship that you have. It's a great start. They want to stop anybody to interfere. They want to succeed with you. This is the Nine of Cups. And there is a sudden move. You and your partner are going to move to another place, another town, another state. It's in the works. That tells me that your partner desires you, wants you, doesn't want to leave you or leave this relationship. Are you Dear Gemini, going to be at peace and you won't have any problems with your partner again or is it going to keep on going like this because this person, the third party, is really stressing you out and you don't know what to do because you are not trying to go and irritate the other person, the third party.
It sounds here. Unfinished business with the other person, the third party. It could be a Gemini person again. Like you are Gemini and the, the third party is a Gemini, but not necessary. It could be an air sign. It could be someone else. More than air sign, there is also like you know, a fire sign here. It could be water sign also. Air sign. So it goes on. So it says here that, you know, unfinished business with this person, they are trying, like, you know, really to talk, and it's going to be kind of like, you know, on and off. There is so much disappointment in you because you keep really being disappointed with your person. Your person, what happened, let me tell you this, last year when they went to another person, you were upset with your person. You were, like, you know, just trying to drag some things, like, you know, out with him or her. You pushed him or her away. So, in the meantime, like, you know, they end up with someone else, like, you know, because they didn't want to be really just sitting there lonely or doing something. So, you should not be mad at your partner. Your partner shut the door on the third party. They don't want nothing to do with them. They just, like, you know, isolate them. They walked away. They block them. And they are trying harder with you. So, you should be happy. For some of you, the third party, like, you know, holding on another relationship. It could be like, you know, he or she, like, you know, still married to someone, separated from someone. And also, I see that, you know, they could be really in a new relationship too. But they still want that pain to cause you pain. It's like you did something to, to her or him, the third party, but you never did. And they are taking it against you because of their jealousy, there is extreme jealousy. Your, intu your intuition, dear Gemini, like, you no know, lately, is really very strong, like, you no, know, it's really very high. Whatever you feel or say is going to happen, it does happen. You want to do something, you want to say something, like, you know, to the third party, but you say, you know what, I don't want to fight. I don't want to argue. He or she will go away by them themselves. You don't want to do anything. But you are not an easy person if this person step on your toes. And I'm getting here, I hope, peace for everybody. Like, no, we don't want anybody to pull each other hair or something. <laughs> it is over. It's going to be over. It could, like, you know, drag on a little bit for a few months, but, you know, it's going to be over. And in the same time, like, you know, keep uh, your calm. It's really best if you can. The only thing that you can do, like, you know, pull your... Um, anger and say I'm not angry with my partner I am happy with him or her I am not jealous of the third party and that will make like you know, your emotions calm down more do not like you know, send any hate or grudge or anything like you know, toward anybody also like you know, it's really best for you and this person the third party I notice like you know, they are like you know, trying to stop in your own in your way for your success you feel like, you know, that you took a relationship back, you want to be happy, and you want to keep moving forward with your money situation, because money situation is going to be very good this year for you. And this third party is trying to drag it, like, you know, really down, uh, to slow you down, to stop you. But you are stopping yourself down by really being worried and fearful that your partner is really the one who's cheating, but they are not. So rest assured here that you have to keep that faith and confidence. That your partner on your side at this time, no matter what, and you have to keep really moving forward for your success. Push any other thoughts, bad thoughts away. Like, you know, the other person is going to stop eventually because there is no solution. Are you going to stay in this current relationship, dear Gemini, or not? I'm going to ask a different deck. Because you are worried that you're going to cut it off with your partner and you feel like not really directing um things um, to your partner because he or she is their fault for some reason let me see you're gonna be busy your partner approached you here you become like you know, the wife or the husband
your partner is really protective over you and you are protective over them. There is a lot of effort your partner is doing for your future. Stop doubting yourself. He or she learned their lesson, which is your partner from the past. They present all the facts for you. Stop being fearful. You are very lucky. They have the good intention. And it says here the other person is really definitely going away. So you are not really leaving your relationship at all. So the third party is not going to be able to destroy it. I will see separation for you anyway. Unless you become really mad and angry all the time, mad and angry, take it on your partner because of the third party, like no action, but I'm not really picking on anything bad is going to happen. So control your emotions and let the other person like you no know, sink in their own and there is a karma after all. We don't wish anybody bad, even the third party. I hope like you know, they find peace and happiness with someone else and that will be it. It's really better to say it this way. Well, dear Gemini, I hope you enjoyed your reading for today. I will, make, I will be making a video for April anytime soon um, in the coming uh, couple of days. And um, if you need a private reading, please contact me on mysticalaziza.com. And thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.